tropical storm. It's moving west at 13 miles per hour and it has 65 mile per hour winds. It is over the Gulf of Mexico now, so it is in the open waters. It has the potential for restrengthening back to hurricane status. Only category one, but nonetheless, it will make it a large and very broad tropical weather feature. So we are already beginning to see the vast cloud shield on the outskirts of it, and the cone still has most areas around the northern sections of Florida and southern Georgia in its path. Here's what it looks like from the European forecast model. So a couple of forecast models have been showing you this morning. This particular forecast model shows that Ada stays in the Gulf of Mexico for at least another three days. The cold front arrives here in Birmingham on Wednesday, Veterans Day Wednesday, so we have rain chances here. We look ahead into Thursday, and this particular forecast model shows that the front stalls out right over the Carolinas and continues to tap into Ada's moisture. And so the National Hurricane Center forecast track is lined up with this particular forecast model, and so that's why I wanted to show it to you. There are a couple of other outliers which we will get to throughout the upcoming days, but a secondary reinforcing front is going to approach by the latter part of the weekend. So that will certainly veer whatever is left over from Ada eastward by the time we get into the weekend. So right now the rain is pummeling portions of uh, southern Florida, just to the south of Lake o Okeechobee, Miami Day. There's rain bands in Jacksonville and even into portions of St. Simons Island, Georgia. The rain bands are increasing. Check out these forecast models that southerly turn and then that turn back towards the north will have a really large impact on our seven day forecast as far as how much rain we're going to get. If it stays in the Gulf, we're tracking eight to Thursday, Friday. But we're not seeing the impacts of Ada. We have that second front towards the end of the weekend, but our next chance for rain will be Tuesday and Veterans Day Wednesday.